What's going on my doll bills? Dean Money here and today I have a new video for you. Uh, so in my Spider-Man Homecoming suit video at the end I told all of you that if you guys if I got five likes on that video I would tell you how to make my uh, homemade or my custom Spider-Man Homecoming web shooters and so I guess I could have just shown you this one. Uh, and you guys went beyond what I was asking. I asked for five likes. You know what I got? Currently, my Spider-Man Homecoming suit video has 35 likes. That's pretty good. I mean, there's a lot of YouTubers out there getting like thousands of likes. But I mean, I asked for five and you guys gave me a 5, but you put a 3 in front of that. That's pretty cool. So, I want to tell you all how I made this, and I can't really show you how to make it, and I'll explain why. So the way that I've made my web shooter is I use my school's 3D printer to print out the base and the cartridge. The cartridge is, is detachable, as you can see and I have velcro in there it can fit in there all by itself on its own uh, but one time I did uh, brush this against my uh, pants and this fell out without me noticing and I thought I need to make this more secure so I just put them um, right on there and there and yeah and it took me a while to get this correctly uh, like, here was my first one. It It's smaller, as you can see. And I was not really happy with it. I like the way it looks with the uh, spray paint that I used. I spray painted the silver, same with this one. And I spray painted all the rest. It, the original color is uh, purple as you can see I put some primer but with the one that my final product I ended up using black filament paint I mean just filament sorry so it came out black and it was completely fine the same with the web cartridges um, I did not get those all correct. These, as you can see, are way too small. Uh, they Some fit in this one, and I actually tried two more times to make them bigger. And they're... Sorry. They're close. So, uh... But I did eventually figure out the right sizes. I made some extras. These are also spray painted, and uh, the red parts are just sharpie. I, I have to reapply a little every once in a while. As you can see, this end is uh, about to need to be repainted. I also made triggers as well, and they just slip under like that. And yeah, detachable. All I did for this one was I put some glue in there, car carved it in a little bit, and I stuck just a random piece of uh, plastic, and this was actually one, one long thing, but then I cut it in half. So yeah, I don't really like those as much, but since I had triggers on the suit, it... It helps. Now for the wristband itself, I got this at a sports... A, oh geez, what do you call it? A sports store. It shows you how much I like sports. It It's basically, I don't want to say the brand of it, uh, but it's popular one. There's a hint. And all I did was I actually colored in with a Sharpie on the logo. 
And I thought, well, that, that was a little useless because I ended up using uh, some Velcro. I'm sorry, I'm going out of frame. As you can see, it it's in there a little bit. You won't be able to see it, I guess, with the colors. And it works very well. I thought I'd have to sew on the Velcro to the band, but that didn't work, or that wasn't necessary. And, yeah, I'll try and leave the 3D print file for both of these in the description down below. But that might be a little tough because I don't know uh, if I'll be able to or not. I have them on a flash drive, but I have so many uh, web shooters on that flash drive and I haven't checked it out in a while, like, two and a half months ago is the last time I looked in those files so I can't remember the names and if it's not there it's either I wasn't able to find it and I'll be adding it in the future when I can find it and or even the file is corrupted or YouTube just wouldn't let me add it something like that but yeah, you can also find this uh, exact one on Shapeways. I have seen people uh, see sell them. I'm really stuttering on my words today. I am sorry, my dollar bills. And yeah, it's just an easy slip on. As you can see, it on my suit in the video, you can definitely tell that it... The band was a little off color from uh, the other black parts since those were a bit more gray. But it is perfect. It doesn't really touch you unless you like really try to it. Like I have full flexibility and this back part never touches and I was able to cut it here. So it did have a part that stuck out. And that's where this round part was supposed to connect to, but that wouldn't have been long enough to reach to here. So I snipped it off, and now I have more flexibility. Another thing that I wanted to show all of you, I didn't want to make a, a whole nother video for these, but I 3D printed some spider tracers. They're magnetic, and I thought, hey, sorry, uh, it'll work well with the suit because they just fit in under there. The magnet is a little cold, so it'll be able to uh, cool you down because uh, these can get a little hot, and it's barely noticeable. It's, it's a little bump, but no one will tell, especially if you have, like, three or four in one. I made four of them. Uh, this one I used the red filament from the 3D printer and this one I spray painted. Uh, I like the look of, well they're the same one, but I like the color of this one more than this one. And the magnets are just glued on with hot glue. And as I was taking these out, this one uh, it started to fall off, so I gotta, I gotta figure out how to glue that back on, cause I don't have a hot glue gun here. Went backwards. That's one problem about them. They keep going backwards for some reason. Like that. I mean, they stick just fine on their stomachs. There we go. But yeah, these work very well. I actually, uh... I, pr I tested how well uh, they worked. And I put one on my car. And I drove home. It was either home or to the store. This was a couple months ago, and 
Uh, they stuck on the whole way, just on the side. It was on a door, and it, it was pretty good. This is a strong magnet. For those of you who don't know, I have an Instagram, and please go follow me at dmoney1362. I know there's no E. That's how I used to spell it, and I post a lot of fun stuff. I let you guys know if I'm making a video or just uploaded one. And I like to do a lot of cool, funny poses sometimes. And I even post on my story a lot lately. Oh, new project coming soon. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, I really hope that I was able to make this a bit useful on how to make these web shooters. Uh, I can't really show you how to make them. In the future, maybe I can uh, when I have access to my school's 3D printer again. But these are pretty cool web shooters. They're cheap. Uh, I can't remember how much wristband this these wristbands were. Uh, they're not expensive though. I I doubt I spent five dollars on these, so that's cheap. And then if you have a 3D printer or know someone who has a 3D printer, uh, get the file, the print file, and give it to them. Uh, I, I searched the web to find uh, this and the web cartridges, and I was, it didn't take that long for me to find them. So if you, I bet if you just typed in Spider-Man Homecoming uh, 3D printed web shooter file or something like that, as long as you have a 3D print file, I'm sure you'll find it. I think the website that I found these from was the RPF? Maybe. I, I just remember the guy had a horse mask and a really fancy outfit and like I I think it was a champagne cup. I'm rambling on. It It's time for me to end this video. I am stuttering way too much. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for those 35 likes. You guys blew me away when I saw that. Thank you all. So don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Bye.